If you want to try out Android 15 custom room, but you don't want to use Google Play services, then this one is a great choice for you. I'm talking about Graphene OS and in case you don't know, Graphene OS is available for all the supported Pixel devices and yes, only Pixel devices. So if you're using any one of the supported Pixel devices like Google Pixel 9 series, 8, 7, 6 series or even maybe 5 series, then you can try out Graphene OS. The good thing is it's updated with the latest Android version that is Android 15 and Android 15 is already released by Google. In Graphene OS, in case you don't know, Graphene OS supports the latest app store which brings you Google Play services ability but that's optional. First, let me tell you it's based on Android 15, the latest Android version and also having the latest security patch of November 2024. Almost similar to Lineage OS which brings you update almost every month and that's a very good sign. We have Graphene OS installed and you get App Store by default. This is the Graphene OS App Store, definitely with a very limited number of Android apps. But if we talk about the Google Play services, yes, Google Play services are not enabled by default. These are optional. If you want to enable them, you can do so by installing it. And it's quite easy to use, quite easy to install. But it's totally up to you if you don't want to use the Google Play services because this is regarding Graphene OS, a de-googled OS which you can try out on your device, definitely with the latest Android 15, it's a very good sign. If you just want to try it out, you can and the good thing is it supports bootloader locking, you can even use some banking apps, etc. One thing which I find here, which I found here right now is the private space. Yes, private space is a very amazing feature available with Android 15, but because it does not support the Google Play services, so how this private space will work or even if it work or not. As you can see, I just locked this private space, so it's now hidden. But unlike Pixel Launcher, like if you are using Android 15, if you have ever used, in latest Android 15, if you simply enable the hide option in private space, you can search for it and you can find it. But in this case, as you can see, if you hide this private space, you will not be able to unhide it directly by searching. You have to enable it. You have to find it in the settings once again. That is a major change as compared to the official Google Google's latest Android 15. Other than else, everything is just quite similar. Some of the things are here and there because it's a de-googled OS or you can say a very secure OS, then you have some security related options already present in this case. So for example, if you take a look at some of the under 15 features, these are already present. As you can see, this is the new volume panel because it's literally same normal stock Android kind of thing. It's not a pixel specific thing. I'm not exactly saying I'm talking about pixel framework. The pixel goodies are not present in in this case so especially if you're a pixel device user this could be a very different environment for you if you take a look at some of the security features you will find this feature named as usb-c port that's a very useful thing you can adjust it according to your charging only when locked charging only when locked except before first lock and on or off this is a very very amazing security related feature you also have the option for secure app spawning which basically simply is a secure way to open some android apps to launch apps in a secure way although not exactly sure how it actually works but it's here so just wanted to let you know we have some of the options here and there in graphene os basically for example internet connectivity checks it actually use the graphene os server in most of the cases so some of the things are quite technical ways so you can simply install this thing and explore of course if you use graphene os in your daily driver things you might notice a big change as compared to the normal official android 15. it's not for everyone but if you are into tech if you want to just give it a try you can and yes same like google's android 15 it also supports ota updates which is a very good sign it is here it is working perfectly fine and yes, as I just told you at the starting of the video, it supports bootloader locking. So if you're a Pixel device user, you can change it to Graphene OS and then you can simply lock the bootloader and you can do so almost anything what you can do on a device by default. Exceptions are always there, but you can give it a try in case you want to. You can also install Google Play services in case you want to. So that's it. These were things I just wanted to let you know. Hope you like this thing. If you like this one, make sure to like this video. Thanks for watching.